Now, in this video, you will see no silly walks, zero stupidity, and most definitely, I will not mention the war. Well, maybe a bit, because this is where this is best known from. But in this day and age, humour is now offensive. A biscuit must not be called a cake. And say anything that is not media acceptable and you will be burnt at the stake. So we approach this one with caution. It uses CO2, so Greta will hate it. No, stop, Giles, you will offend someone. I know, how about this? Iggle Piggle is- <laughs> This is the Parabolum Pistol P08, or the more common name, the Luger. This model was first adopted by the German army in 1908, but it's been around since about the 1900s. And yes, you most commonly see it depicted in war films held by German soldiers. However, different companies have been involved in its development, and if my research is correct, the name Luger was actually first registered in the USA. Through time, it has been used by many, many European forces and security services, and has been seen with a shoulder stock and other guises, including an alleged rifle, which was never put into production. It is one of the most sought after pistols for collectors, and the internet reports some collectors have splashed up to $1 million for a good period one. It has been replicated by many companies and has been out in 6mm BB, 177BB non-blowback, and this version which I have here, which is the 4.5mm or 177 blowback BB version from the Umarax Legends range. And yep, it's been out a while, but until my shop bought one, and I did buy this, I'd never fired one, and this is unlike other CO2 replicas when shooting. It has one of the most powerful blowback actions, being so unusual with the toggle lock action that utilizes a jointed arm, that's the bit that sticks up at the rear, rather than the sliding top rail. The whole barrel assembly moves rearwards with each shot, and yet when you've emptied the magazine, it locks open, like this. And that's a nice touch. All metal construction, except for the grips. Please, someone make a replica with metal or wooden grips. You go to all this trouble and then you put plastic on it. However, in the hand, it still feels so very different and really very pleasant to point. And it weighs in at about 1.1 pounds. The trigger is half moon style and it's all metal and it's very responsive for shooting. The magazine drops out by pressing this button here and by pulling here. And the magazine is very slim for the CO2 world, taking a 12 gram CO2 capsule and you drop in 20 BBs here. And yet it's fiddly and it takes a while to get the hang of it. The magazine structure has been really slimmed down to fit inside that grip and thus everything is a bit tight on space, but it works well. Big old bolt at the bottom secures the CO2. However, I have to say, be careful. This has to be lined up right on the edges of that valve area in there. They are small. And if you over tighten the neck of the capsule against the valve rim, you're probably going to damage it. Resettable safety at the rear on the left and a place to add a strap to just there. And fixed sights on the top. And did I mention it's field strippable? Prices, because you're gonna wanna know. Look, they change, so just check the website. But caution, the non-blowback version is approximately half the price of the blowback version. So be sure you check which one you're buying when you're checking out. 
power then it's going to be a high of approximately 300, 300 feet per second three, working through the charge of the capsule and that goes down four, with virtually every shot and you know when the capsule is kaput because the blowback stops working or the gun itself stops cycling it also depends how quick you're pulling that trigger as to the shot count from the capsule rapid fire and it's two magazines slow it down and you may get 50 shots so it's co2 hungry this one is not greenpeace friendly also use a quality bb and co2 cartridge do always try and recycle those as well afterwards at your local tip don't just chuck them in the bin let's try and save something of what's left of our planet <laughs> I think this is one of the best looking replicas out there and it shoots really well too. These are about enjoyment garden plinking. It's not for hunting, pest control, and it won't shoot anything at 100 yards like a rifle. This is a smile machine because it generates. Oh. Just a quick safety tip with any BB pistol, always be aware that, you know, it can bounce back. You do occasionally get ricochets. So eye goggles at all times, okay? Hi. Now, as you can see, these two groups are not rested. These groups are in some way rested, and they're both at sort of 11 good paces, approximately 10 yards. Now. Oh, hi. Isn't that right here, Ben? One thing I have noticed about the pistol is that it is ammunition fussy. It's very small in there, and it's also very, very small at the top of the magazine there. So if you're using frangible ammunition or you get any dirt in there or anything like that, it is going to affect the performance of the pistol. I've put about 12 capsules through it while I'm testing today and making the video, and I do get missed cycles of BBs. They do get stuck from time to time. I think because that's all so small and this action is so different, that unfortunately it's just a fact of life with the pistol you're gonna get the odd misfeed of BB. So what are my thoughts? Well, this is so different, that's its selling point. The recoil is tremendous, and accuracy is great. It's CO2 hungry, so you have to accept that. But the feel of that styling in your hand is an utter pleasure. Want a bit of Euro vavavoom in your hand? Then this is it and it's one of my firm favorite replicas. If you have enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and press that bell to get notified of the latest uploads. And if you want to see videos before YouTube, then visit airgun101.com, which is full of the best airgun creators on the planet. Please also visit Airgun 101 Shop, which is my business for the latest gadgets and goodies. Thanks for watching. Auf Wiedersehen.